Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Sinan Academy. In today's lecture, we'll be discussing about Lenz's law. During my teaching experience, I noticed that the students get confused whether to give plus sign or minus sign to the induced EMF in a coil. We know that according to Faraday law of electromagnetic induction, when flux linking with the coil changes, an EMF is induced in the coil. And according to the Lenz's law, the EMF induced in the coil will oppose its cause. So, you will find in some books that EMF induced in the coil having a negative sign that is E is equal to minus N d phi by dt. Because since it will oppose its cause, so it will get a negative sign. In some book, you will find E is equal to plus N d phi by dt. So, in today's lecture, I will explain you that whether the plus sign or minus sign is correct or both are correct. So, I will dis demonstrate today that when plus sign is used and when minus sign is used with the induced EMF E. To start with, we will first see what is Faraday law. Faraday law states that when a flux linking with a coil changes, an EMF is induced in the coil, which is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux linkage. So, here we have taken lambda as flux linkage, which is equal to number of turns in the coil multiplied by the total flux. So, if we replace lambda by n into phi, so the induced EMF will be proportional to n d phi by dt. Now, according to the Lenz's law, the direction of induced EMF is such that if it is allowed to cause current by short circuiting the coil, then the current so produced opposes the cause. Now, in this Lenz's law, a very important point to be noted. The EMF which is induced will oppose its cause only if it is allowed to cause current by short circuiting the coil. This is a very important point to be noted. That when the coil is not short circuited, there will be no current. Means, if the coil has not any closed path for the current, then the EMF so produced will not oppose its cause. So, in order to oppose, we should have a closed circuit. Now, we will see, if the circuit is closed now, then in order to oppose its cause, the induced EMF in the coil will have either plus sign or minus sign. So, this plus sign and minus sign means the induced EMF will either have plus sign or minus sign will be decided by two things simultaneously. The first one is Lenz's law obviously and the second thing is the terminal which we are taking as positive. In a coil we have two terminals. So, these two things will decide the plus or minus sign for induced EMF. In further lecture, I will demonstrate whether the induced EMF will have a plus sign or minus sign or when that induced EMF have plus sign and when this induced EMF has minus sign. So, let us start to understand this concept. To understand this, let us take an iron core and wrap a coil over it. In order to close the circuit, let us connect a resistance. Now bring a bar magnet. Now when you move this bar magnet towards the coil, the flux which is linking with the coil will change. And due to this change, an EMF will be induced in the coil. Now, 
we have two terminals in the coil mentioned as terminal A and terminal B. If you take, if you move this magnet towards the coil, there will be induced EMF across the terminals. Now let us take terminal A as positive and terminal B as negative. So the direction of current inside the coil will be as shown. Now for the given direction of the current, if you apply Maxwell's right hand thumb rule to find the direction of magnetic field through the coil, you will find that the right side of the coil will have a north pole and left side of the coil will have a south pole. Now, if this is the direction of magnetic field, then the induced EMF which is equal to nd phi by dt will have plus sign or minus sign. We will see. Now you can see very clearly that near the magnet a north pole is induced inside the coil. This north pole of the coil will oppose the north pole of the magnet. So the induced EMF EAB is such that it will oppose the incoming magnet. So the direction of or the polarity of induced EMF which we have taken is according to the Lenz's law. So this direction, this polarity is according to the Lenz's law. So the induced EMF EAB will have a positive sign. EAB is equal to plus nd phi by d. Okay, if the polarity which you have taken is according to the Lenz's law, the sign of induced EMF will be plus nd phi by d. Now let us take another example. Now in this case, if you can notice the direction of wire wound over the soft iron core is changed. Now let us bring a bar magnet and if that bar magnet is moved towards the coil, an EMF will be induced in the coil. Now in this case also, let us take terminal A as positive and terminal B as negative. See according to the polarity, the direction of current in the coil will be as shown. Now if you apply Maxwell's right hand thumb rule to find the direction of magnetic field due to the current inside the coil, you will notice that north pole will be on the left side and south pole will be on the right side. So now you can see here near the north pole of the magnet a south pole is induced. So the induced EMF EAB is not opposing the incoming magnet. This south pole will attract the north pole of the incoming magnet. So it is actually supporting the magnet. So it is not according to the Lenz's law. It means the true polarity is this side we will have a positive sign and this side we will have a negative sign. But the induced EMF which we have taken is opposite to the direction of polarity according to the Lenz's law. So the induced EMF EAB in this case will have a negative sign. Now let us take another case. Now let us wrap coil on an iron coal like this in this fashion and again bring a bar magnet and move that bar magnet towards the iron core. Now let us reverse the polarity of EAB now. Now in this case A is taken as negative and B is taken as positive terminal. Now due to this direction of current if you apply Maxwell's right hand thumb rule to find the direction of magnetic field through the coil you will notice that it will have south pole at the right end and north pole at the left end. So in this case again you notice that south pole is developed near the north pole of the incoming magnet. So this polarity of EAB is not in accordance with the Lenz's law means this polarity has to be in reverse order that is P terminal has to have a negative sign 
and A terminal should have a positive sign. So this EAB induced EMF has a reverse polarity according to the lenses law. That is why in this case EAB is again taken as negative minus ND5 by DT. Now let us take the fourth case. In fourth case we are again changing the direction of wrapping of coil over the iron core. Bring a bar magnet and move that bar magnet towards the coil. And let us take the induced EMF have has a polarity such that B terminal is taken as positive and A is taken as negative. So the direction of current will be as shown. Now if you apply Maxwell's right hand thumb rule to find the direction of magnetic field through the coil you will find that the right side of the coil will have a north pole and left side of the coil will have a south pole. Now in this case the coil has developed a north pole near the north pole of incoming magnet. So this north pole of coil will oppose the incoming north pole of the magnet. So the polarity of induced EMF EAB which we have taken is in accordance with the lenses law. So in this case the sign of EAB will be plus ND5 by DT. So these are the four cases I have just discussed to demonstrate that whether the induced EMF will have a positive sign or negative sign. So now you can say that the positive and negative sign will depend upon two things that is one is Lenz's law another is which terminal is taken as positive. Now let us apply this concept to the transformer. Let us take a very simple transformer two winding transformer in primary side we have applied voltage V1 due to this applied voltage V1 a current I1 is flowing inside the coil primary coil and there will be induced EMF E1. Now we will see whether the induced EMF in the secondary side will have plus ND5 by DT or minus ND5 by DT. In this case when there is no load is connected in the secondary side the induced EMF will be of this polarity just shown it will be same as in case of primary wire. Now if you connect a load across the terminal, what will happen? A current will start flowing through the coil. In the secondary side also, the current will start to flow. Let us take the direction of current will be like this as due to the polarity of induced EMF E2. Now due to this direction of current, the flux produced by secondary winding will be as shown by the blue line. Now you can see this will oppose the flux linking with the coil or the, this will oppose the primary flux. So the induced EMF E2 is such that it will oppose or it is opposing the flux of the primary side so in this case E2 will have a plus sign. E2 is equal to plus ND5 by DT. Now let us take the another case. Now let us wrap the coil in different manner. You can observe here. Now in this case the coil is wounded differently. The secondary winding is wounded differently. You can notice here that in this case the coil is coming from, from the bottom of the limb and in this case it is coming from the top of the limb. So now we will see whether in this case the E2 will have a negative sign or positive sign or when this E2 will have positive sign and when E2 will have a negative sign. Now if the secondary is open the induced EMF will have same E2 sign as E1 you can see here the plus will be here and the plus will be here. Now if we connect load current will start flow th flowing through the coil. Now let us take the direction of current 
in this fashion. So for this direction of current, you will notice that the flux so produced by the coil will oppose the primary flux. So the induced EMF will have the polarity as shown. So E2 will have a positive sign, E2 is equal to plus N d phi by dt. But if you reverse the direction of current, in this case, that is, you are now only changing the direction of coil wrapped over the limb of the core, but you are not changing the direction of current. So in this case, you will notice that due to the direction of current in the coil, the flux so produced by the secondary winding will support the primary flux. It will not oppose it. It means the polarity which we have taken in this case is not according to the Lenz's law. It has to have a reverse order. It means this side will have positive negative polarity and this side will have a plus polarity. So E2 is in opposite direction with the polarity according to the Lenz's law. So in this case E2 will have a negative sign that is E2 is equal to minus N d phi by T. So now if you see in these two cases, case number 1 and case number 2, in these two cases only by wrapping the coil in different manner the sign of induced EMF will change. So before saying that induced EMF will have a positive sign or negative sign, you just have to notice the direction of coil wrapped over the limb of the transformer. You can apply the same concept to the primary induced EMF also. So you can easily mention whether E1 will have plus N d phi by dt sign or minus N d phi by dt. So this is all for today. Thanks for watching my videos.